Hey, what's up guys? We're back playing the Renaissance mod on Black Ops 1, and this time we're playing Nocturne Toten, the very first zombies map. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what changes there are on the map, since this map is very basic. Luckily, this mod completely revamps Black Ops 1 by adding custom weapons, new perks, and special zombies, which all sounds pretty great on Nocturne Toten, since this map didn't even have perks when it came out, so let's hurry up and load into the game. Alrighty, so here we are on Nocturne Toten. I'm so ready to take on this map. We actually have a box location. What the heck? I didn't even see that. Okay, interesting. Uh, so did the wall weapons change here? It's still the car 98, and I'm assuming this is going to be what the... Oh, it's the M1. Okay. So is there anything else in here? What? You have Jug? Wait, what? Wait, why is Jug here? Isn't this where Mule Kick is usually at on the Black Ops 1 version of this map? uh hey we'll take it we'll take it so that is a good sign actually that means there is actually going to be perks on the map this time with the mod <laughs> imagine if there wasn't going to be any perks at all that would be insane actually that'd be quite the challenge so i think i'm going to leave this door closed i kind of want to i think i'm going to open up through the stairs here because if you leave this door closed i believe the spawns are slightly faster and actually the spawns aren't that slow this time but usually knocked have some pretty slow spawns I don't know we'll see because it is using the mod this time and i think the zombies are slightly faster especially once we get to the special zombies yeah we'll see which way i open up through though because there really isn't that many doors so let's see if i can see anything else here we have who's who okay and another wait is that the box that's the actual box location what <laughs> that's like the deadliest box location ever it's pretty cool that the box actually will move this time because on knocked you know we usually just have that one spot even on like any version of the map there's only one spot where it goes. It never moves. So it's pretty cool to see it in different locations. And like always, if you guys do want to try out the Renaissance mod, it's going to be linked down below in the description. Definitely check it out. This is one of my favorite mods ever on Black Ops 1. It's honestly... Wait, what was that? Wait, what was that? What pack? Wait, wh hold on. Hold on. That was who's who, right? So did Jug move? Because Jug was here they cycle the perks no are, so are, do the perks just like change location or are some perks going to be off the map on certain rounds here let me actually just open the door because i'm super curious so let's see if we find jug anywhere else it seemed like the perks only stay for a couple of rounds because this is a weird round and we also have power here what the heck okay interesting power is <laughs> just there oh, phd nice so can we still open the cabinet we can okay yeah, that's definitely weird. Unless that's like... Are these the only perk locations? I don't know. Let's just hit the box here. I need another weapon. Blunderbuss. Okay. Yikes. We're not going to really make too many points. This is a very good weapon, though. The Blunderbuss is a solid weapon. Oh, and the challenge board is here. Okay, cool. So, yeah, 3,500. So, if you guys are new to the Renaissance mod, this is the challenge board. So, we got to complete four challenges. And then, after we complete them we are able to buy the ending to the map. Each of the challenges do give you some pretty cool rewards. So, you know, you never know what you'll get. Sometimes you'll get weapons, sometimes perk slots. It's pretty awesome. The rewards are very, very good. So I'm just curious. Let's see what's over here. Okay, so there is Deadshot. Wow, that's kind of sad. Deadshot's just alone over here. <laughs> Isolated away from all the other ones. Okay, we have the M1921, and then we also have the, the M30. What is this from? The Luftwaffe? Drilling. I don't know what, what weapon that is. Ah, so yeah, actually, that's pretty much the entire map open already. <laughs> there really isn't much to the map, as we all know. So at the end of each round, it seems like it flips perks. That's pretty cool. So what's going to be here next? So now it's Widow's Wine. Okay, and then over here, it's Jug. So we need Quick Revive. Where the hell is Quick Revive? Please be on the map already. Who's who on this side? Yikes. So, okay, there's only what? There's one, two, uh, three, and then four. There's four perk locations. Quick revive? Yes! Let's go. So, like always, I haven't looked at the mod page for Nocturne Tone, so I don't know what special zombies are going to be on here. I don't know if there's going to be a special round or something. Um, we'll definitely take a look at the mod page a little bit later. Once we get to, like, round 12 or something... That's usually when I like to look at it as by then we should get some of the special zombies to spawn in and by then we should also get like a special round or whatever. So the hard part's going to be surviving. <laughs> oh God, the reload speed is not the best. 
Honestly, I'm pretty bad at Noct. Like, vanilla Noct is actually kind of difficult in my opinion. <laughs> the World at War one is pretty difficult too, just because there's like nothing on the map. But just the map is so small, and I feel like there's so many areas where you can just get caught, you know what I mean? Hopefully it doesn't happen today. Oh, oh, this is perfect. I love this weapon. So, yeah, I guess we'll wait over here by spawn, because this area has some pretty good spawns. Oh, wait! How come that perk moved before the round ended? It looks like it's not round-based, but it's, like, timed? Yeah, it's got to be timed. There's no way. Okay, that's kind of scary then. <laughs> now let's just focus on perks, though. We need to get a good setup. We need to be ready by, like, round 11-ish. Because by then, we're going to start getting special zombies. I'm praying that those fire zombies are not on this map. Please. Those fire zombies are no joke. And on a map as small as this, those fire zombies are going to tear me a new one if I'm not careful. <laughs> Pause. But it's going to be hard, bro. These special zombies really make these maps super difficult. And there's not really a decent area to train. I mean, yeah, over here in this area, you can kind of train, but... I don't know, man. Those special zombies, they won't let you. <laughs> they won't let you. Oh, Vulture Raid's here, too. <gasps> That's good. So if you guys have been keeping up with the Renaissance Mod series as well, you already know that there is a six perk limit. So we can actually buy some extra perks. Now, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to buy Vulture Raid, PhD, Jug. Those are, like, going to be guaranteed, I think. And then we'll, we'll see if we get double tap and speed cola and all those and it looks like yeah sometimes some perks are not gonna be on the map at all so if i go down on a bad round and there's no quick revive or jug it's gonna be deadly it's it's i it, it could be game over if i'm not careful jug please yes that is so cool i really like this idea we're definitely taking that and let's go see what other perks we got we got 2k I could, I could definitely buy Double Tap if it's here. Because I wouldn't mind that. Let's see what's over there. Oh, boss round. What's it going to be? Is it going to be dogs? It is, I think. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I need the ammo too, which is great. Oh, explosive ones. Forgot about those. Okay, well, you know what? We could also just save up for this challenge board. We only need a little bit more for it. Honestly, if there's no perk that I want on the map, I'll just buy the challenge board at the end of this round. Because uh, I wouldn't mind getting started on those challenges either. Oh, we got some sprinters now. We got these wild sprinters. Double points at the end of the round. I love it. Yeah, I guess I'll pick it up. Maybe I can get some kills with it. Okay, 5k. What's at the box? Let's see what else we can get here. I'm gonna actually buy the challenge board as well. Let me see what I get here, though. Uh, what is this? Oh, we're not taking that. <laughs> no, no, no. Not I, said the fly. So, let's buy the challenge board. Okay, so I already seen that we need to get 25. Oh, stamina is here, too! Ooh, that's a perk we hadn't seen at all. That's great. So, let's see. What are the challenges for this map? Obtain six perks, okay. Kill 25 explosive dogs without getting damaged. It's a classic one. It's one of the more difficult ones as well. 115 headshots and 15 melee. I can honestly get started with that right now. Fight me, bro. Fight me. Fight me. Got him. We still have yet to see Pack-a-Punch back. Oh, no! The fire zombies are back bruh no anything but the fire zombies oh it looks like those zombies get kind of stuck there i noticed it at the beginning as well whoa look at how fast this one's coming at me what i'm gonna have to hit the box here i need another weapon come on come on bless me with something good man oh yeah i forgot thunder guns on this map i wonder how this works with the special zombies. We're going to try it out. We're going to try it out. I actually wouldn't mind getting speed coal if I'm going to keep the thunder gun. So let's go over here. I'll kill the zombie on the side. This is pretty good, actually. I mean, we haven't used a thunder gun in a long time. I will say some of these wonder weapons don't work well with the special zombies. Like, um, I think on, what was it? Call the Dead? No, Moon. The wave gun 
it didn't kill many of the special zombies. Like, it just wouldn't affect them at all. So, I wonder if the Thunder Gun will be good for that. I, I, I wouldn't mind keeping it for a bit. It just sucks that we kind of need some points. <laughs> and this is like the worst weapon to have. Is, it, is this the Black Ops 3 model? It looks kind of glossy. I like how it looks. Here, I guess I'll try to make some points here with this. Okay, special zombie time. Let's see if this works. Okay, yeah, it works. Ooh, teleporting zombies inbound. Yep, teleporters. Oh, no, Shriekers! Oh, it's gonna be Shinonuma all over again, dude. <laughs> oh, shoot, that's a Shrieker. Oh, it doesn't even look that different from a normal zombie. Um, Oh, snap. Here, just T-gun you, dude. Just get out of my face. <laughs> Uh, if you guys haven't watched any of the other maps that I've played with this mod, I highly recommend you check out those videos. There's another Shrieker? Holy crap. Yeah, I highly recommend you guys check out those videos because each map is slightly different. And each map has different special zombies or it has different perks. Some have some really awesome bosses. So, I highly recommend you guys check out the video. I'll leave the playlist linked down below in the description for you guys. For an easy way to view all of them, but... Yeah, I gotta say, this is by far, like, the most amazing mod, for sure. So, yeah, we need to kill these uh, explosive dogs without getting damaged. And this is a pretty good spot to be in. Only unfortunate thing is that we only have two more shots. I probably should use my ammo a little bit wisely. Here, I'm gonna try to collect these a little bit so that I can get... I need to maximize my shots. There we go. Like, as much as I love the Thunder Gun... Oh, let's try out the Mauser. Yeah. As much as I love the Thunder Gun, it just doesn't have much ammo, and I need something else. I think the Mauser is pretty good, even without Pack-a-Punch. It's kind of funny how small it is, though. Yeah, this thing is good. Yeah, we're going to be able to make bank with this. It's so small, though. <laughs> Look at it. It's puny. Oh, Death Machine. Nice. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of this ammo, though. Never mind. I see a Fire Zombie. I take Death Machine. Come on. Yep. Get wrecked. I know this area might seem slightly cheap or whatever, <laughs> but it's going to be the same in any area. Even if I opened this door and went towards Tommy Gun or whatever, I would still have to kind of camp. This spot at least makes it a bit more fun for me. <laughs> but either way, I think I'm going to have to camp on this map. So PHD was here on the map, right? I'm going to buy it just so that whenever Pack-a-Punch comes back, no, they're leaving me. They're leaving me. Damn it. So let's see what spawns now. I wouldn't mind getting Pack-a-Punch. Okay, Stamina Up is here. Dead shot. Pack-a-Punch still isn't back. Double tap. I might buy that. Jug. Yeah, I'll just buy double tap. That's gonna help. We'll just keep on stacking our bread. So far, we've made slight progress. Yeah, we killed four dogs without getting hit. We got some... Oh, yeah, we need to get headshots. I need to remember that. Okay, teleporters... So it seems like so far on the map, we've seen teleporters, uh, shriekers, explosive ones. Uh, I don't know what these are called, the flame ones. Like, I don't know their actual name. But they're also here. Oh my god, we're out of ammo. No! Ah, shrieker. Ah! Ah! Mind if I'm you dingleberry? Get away from me! Oh no, I didn't mean to end the round. I gotta switch this out then. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? STG! Ah, I gotta take it. I gotta take it. I have no no choice. We need Pack-a-Punch already! Where the hell are you, Pack-a-Punch machine? Come back! If I have to mid-round, I'll buy the Tommy Gun. We need a safety weapon, and I don't have one. My Mustang and Sally is my only choice. Oh, insta-kill. Are you kidding me, Shrieker? Oh, they're switching now. Oh, whoa! Okay, so that Shrieker is not one-shot whenever it comes to insta-kill. I, <laughs> I shot him a couple of times. Hack-a-Punch has to be here now, please. Oh, this is actually perfect for the melee kills! I didn't even realize. Well, we're unintentionally working towards the challenges. There is the challenge complete, actually. I just heard the completion noise. Get out of the way, zombies. Let's see what my reward is. Okay, so look, it's a grenade. I think that just refills my equipment. 
Um, well, that wasn't like the best reward ever. Oh no, I didn't want to end the run again. Widow's wine. You know what? I'm buying widows. Sure. I need all the help I can get. Corker is there. I don't think Pack a Punch is back. Pack a Punch is not back, but I'll take Flopper. I got six perks. Let's go grab my reward. What is it? Oh, Zombie Blood. That is actually very helpful. Come on, let me uh, get something good here. Flamethrower? No. No, 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 no. I'm buying the Tommy Gun then, it seems like. I need it. I'm going to run out of ammo. Ah, oh, the zombie's body blocking. Oh my god. Oh, and now we get a max ammo. Love it. You know what? Maybe this area could be a little bit better. Because the good thing is that here, there's at least a wall buy that's decent. I definitely don't want to buy the Car 98. <laughs> and I definitely don't want to buy the M1. With Double Tap 2.0, they could be good. Because we are using Double Tap 2.0. This isn't normal 1.0. <gasps> Electric Cherry was here too. Bro, still no Pack-a-Punch. It sucks that I got it early. It was like a tease. I got teased. Listen, I might have to get rid of the M1911 sometime soon. I don't want to do it, but I might have to. But this pack punch machine doesn't hurry. Oh, I accidentally activated the radio somehow. Oh, it must have been Widow's Wine. Widow's Wine probably did that. Honey Badger. FG42 as well. I think I'm going to stay here for this round. Okay. Looks like we're sticking with the FG42. Yeah, I just have mad PTSD. I'm trying to play this area on World at War. I remember I got destroyed in this area so much on the World at War version. Like, it seems like it's much bigger, but the zombies will trap you so much <laughs> in these areas. STG again. Man. Oh, okay, hold up. Before we end the round, I have a feeling that these perks are going to be moving kind of soon. So, yep, they're moving. Let's go. Okay, actually, we'll look at the mod page in a second, because we're kind of going through this game very fast. I've seen that there's a teleporting one, but I don't know where he's at. That, he's not... That's not the teleporter. Or Yeah, there he is. I love it. Damn, that's so crazy. I never noticed that about the teleporter zombies. They stay invisible until they can teleport to you. That's interesting. The good thing is that we are getting Quick Revive and Jug quite a lot. So, we don't really have to worry about them too much. You know what I'm saying. Wait, where's the box at? Hello? Uh, what's... The box... The box is gone. No way, dude. Oh, there's a location here. Boy, I was gonna say... I was gonna say... Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, sir, yes, sir. Best weapon ever made in COD Zombies. Okay, let's take a look at the mod page real quick then. So the mod page says that it includes all the World of War intro sound when players first load into the game. Return of the Marines along with the quotes to both Noct and Verruckt. That's awesome. Adding four locations around the map that each cycle through all 10 perks including Pack-a-Punch. We did notice that. Where the hell's Pack-a-Punch? You better hurry up and get back on the map. The perks randomize location every two to five minutes. Wow, so they can... It can take up to five minutes? That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Included Hellhound Rounds, which is great. Included Suicider, Cloaker, Shielder, and Armored Zombie Variants. We did notice all of those. Wait, but the Shrieker is also there, and that doesn't pop up in the mod page. Original Zombie Sounds from World at War Knocked. Box is now above the ground with its own stand model, and can now move locations. I like that change a lot, by the way. It's just kind of cool to have it move a little bit. Mystery Box Light Effect has now been added to show the location of the box. It's funny, I didn't see that. I feel like it's just maybe my settings or something, but I never see the light for the box ever. <laughs> Added three new box locations to knock. Okay, that's pretty much the same thing as the other one. Okay, so there we go. We got it. Bro, the fire rate on this weapon is insane. Look at this, man. With double tap, it's disgusting. By the way, if I do have to, I will 100% open up the help door. I'm not going to, like, force myself to stay in here. Death Machine, let's go. Let me pick that up real quick. Can I slip through here? Kind of. Nice. 
Okay, please tell me pack a punch is on the map, dude. Please. I don't want to end the round. Jug. No. Still no pack a punch. It looks like we're gonna have to get rid of the PPSH. <laughs> it uses so much ammo. I need to get rid of it for ammo. Uh, I'll just take the ballistic knife, sure. Oh, should we open up the cabinet? Oh, you know what? Let's open up the cabinet too. Let's see what we get there. Oh, Galil, we'll take that. Here, let me throw my widow's wine grenades though, just so that I can keep that zombie alive. Let's see, cabinet. Oh, it makes me buy it. That really sucks. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna. Isn't it normally where you just open the cabinet and then it gives you an option to buy the weapon? I guess you just get it whenever you buy it. <laughs> okay, thanks. I guess. So we did see that the perks changed again. Pack a punch. Pack a punch. So let's see how close are we? How many dogs? Thirteen. Okay. So yeah, just headshots and killing explosive dogs. <gasps> yes. Well, I guess since we have the shotgun as well, you guys know how I feel about the shotgun. I was gonna keep the Galil. Keep that in mind. I was gonna keep the Galil until I accidentally got rid of it by buying the car 98. But we may or may not have just got our key to survival here. <laughs> I'll put it like that. You'll see why I say that about this shotgun. But I'm just glad we got the Mustang and Sally. This is going to help us out with crowd control. It's our safety weapon if we ever get stuck. Let's focus on the good old headshots right now. Should be able to get this pretty fast. How many was it? I think it was 36? Something around there. But yeah, look at this. Look at how good the shotgun is. Every single shotgun is overpowered with this mod. And I love it. Because shotguns are one of those weapons where... You would imagine that they'd be super overpowered in zombies games, but usually in COD, it's quite the opposite. Until, what, I guess Black Ops 3 maybe? Or like Cold War-ish around there? Because in both of those games, they have some very, very solid shotguns and they're very useful. But in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and I guess World at War has some decent shotguns too. But mainly in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, both of those games have pretty bad shotguns. All things considered, I mean, they're, they're decent here and there, but for the most part, I wouldn't trust a shotgun in those games. <laughs> Except the Blunder Gat. The Blunder Gat's one of the better ones. But it's a wonder weapon. Let's take a peep at our challenges real quick. So, five more dogs. Wow, okay, good. One more headshot. <laughs> okay. Oh, we just got the headshot challenge with that Mustang and Sally kill we got, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and grab this and let's go see what our reward is. So what is this? Is this ammo? I still don't know what that does. And I have looked at the drops and stuff on the mod page and I don't know what it does. It didn't give me points, didn't give me ammo or anything. And by the way, one interesting thing is that this mod has way more perks than it shows. So uh, they're kind of like secret perks in a way. And it sucks that I haven't gotten any of them because I seen that I believe there's time slip, bandolier, bandit, and I think a couple of other perks. I don't know exactly because ne I've never got them before. The one map that I was excited to get more of these secret perks was on Call of the Dead. And on Call of the Dead, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but some stuff happened on that map where at the end of the day, I couldn't get extra perks. But you just got to get lucky with getting them. And if you get a perk bottle drop, which I now know spawns randomly, you can sometimes get it past round 12. You gotta be really lucky with that too, though, because I think out of all the maps and all the times I've played Renaissance Mod, I probably only got it like three times. So, yeah, like, it's it's rare in general. Um, but there are way more perks. It's just, you gotta be lucky with them, and your boy doesn't have a good track record with luck. Here, I guess I should use my Mustang and Sally a bit more, right? Oh, bonfire cell, perfect, perfect. Let me go pack a punch my my uh, shotgun real quick with the pack a punch. No, on the map. Unless it really is. Here, let me go check. Imagine if it is. I doubt it. Oh well. Now's now's a good chance to get the pack a punch machine. Oh, there is. Wow, it's right there. Perfect. Can I double pack a punch my Mustang and Sally? No, I can't. Um, hold up. Let me see if I can maybe get another weapon to pack a punch. STG, nah. I'm kind of considering getting rid of the Mustang and Sally, to be honest. 
Like, it's good, but... We've all kind of seen the Mustang Sally. It's not really that useful anymore, as I kind of originally expected it to be. How many dogs? Three dogs, yep. Just one more. Honestly, we can just kill the dogs that spawn in the middle of the round. Oh, this is a great LMG. Should we use it? Yeah, let's use it. Let's use it. I love this LMG. It's so good. Because, yeah, we pretty much have a safety weapon with a shotgun. It's just insanely overpowered. But uh, I do also want some points. That's the other thing, which is why I kind of wanted to grab this LMG. We need some points for the actual ending. The ending costs 50,000 points, and that's quite a lot. So we'll be able to take care of the dog challenge here. Um, it really sucks that we didn't get extra perk slots so far. If we do get one here, it's just going to be one extra one, which is great. But I would have loved to have a little bit more. Oh, man. Yeah, these dogs, these dogs are wild. So, yeah, here's a free perk slot. Oh, wait. Oh, we got the MG42. Okay. That kind of sucks because I got rid of my shoddy. But I'll take the MG42. Can't be, can't be mad with the MG42. So we do have an extra perk slot now. I wonder what I should get. What should I get? What should I get? With these two LMGs, I'm going to be able to stack up points like crazy. I really wish I would have been able to pack a punch the MG42. Because <laughs> right now the zombies are very fast and I want to shred them. But I'm going to try to use it and then use my pack a punch weapon because yeah it's 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 not killing as fast as i would like yikes dude yikes 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 okay i think if bull trades on the map we're gonna buy it yeah i think bull trade because i was gonna go with who's who but now that i think about it like we didn't get as many perk slots as i wanted to get if i would have gotten maybe like one extra one i probably would have wasted my perk slot on who's who not that i'm wasting it i know it sounds like i hate who's who but i really don't but the thing is it's just gonna take up a slot that quick revive is already kind of taken up oh so we could get stamina it's either stamina up or voltrade voltrade's not on the map right now stamina would be great here hold up let me hit the box a little bit see if i can maybe get something else so yeah beat the game fifty thousand. we got all the challenges done we don't really need that many extra points. We just need 20k more. But I would like to see if I can get something else here. I guess I love the MG42. It's just without Pack-A-Punch. It's not the best in this situation <laughs> that we're in right now. Oh, t gun again. I mean, I don't want this. Some Spaceman shit. It says Marine number four. <laughs> Okay, so Vulturate is back. Widow's Wine. Is Pack-A-Punch here? I wouldn't mind Pack-A-Punching this weapon. Let's see. Damn, no. Yeah, Pack-A-Punch is kind of rare. So, I'll just grab Vulturate in this case. How about buoy? We're not really running around too much, so stamina up. I don't think will help that much. Oh, we got the Mauser back. I guess we'll take this. Or... Here, one last box hit before the round starts. Let's see what we get. Bear. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Now I can actually see the perks and stuff that are around the map, so... If Pack-A-Punch does spawn in, I'll be able to catch it. The training is working out pretty well, though. Your boy is down bad. Your boy is down bad. I hold the Dario. I'm kind of down bad. <laughs> We're running low on ammo, folks. We're going to have to get rid of the Mauser again. Oh, points. I mean, we'll take that. 1100 ain't bad. I don't even know what round we got dog round last. So I can't even rely on the dog round. I got to keep track of that, though. So PPSH back. I'll take it. It's going to be decent. I'll actually hit the box again. Maybe we'll get monkey bombs or something. Oh, ray gun. Hey, sure. Don't mind a little ray gun action here and there. Especially with PhD. You know what? That's pretty good. The ray gun got some pretty nice buffs <laughs> with this mod. Some very, very good buffs. As you can see, it's kind of disgusting. So I do see good old pack punches here, which is great. Let's go and pack punch the ray gun. And we got dog round. Okay. 
Um, I guess I'll hit the box real quick to see if I can get anything to pack a punch while it's here. Banana! 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 Of course, my box luck is horrible. I love how I say that after I get the ray gun. Like, if I'm gonna, like if I'm gonna get everything I want. So, we got the 50k points. Let's save a zombie at the end of this round. And then we'll go ahead and buy the ending. And by the way, whenever I buy the ending, that doesn't mean that it's the end of the game. Because uh, we do have to wait a couple of extra rounds after we buy the ending. And then it'll be game over. It's kind of cool. I kind of like this. Where it doesn't just buy the ending and you completely end the game. You actually have to survive a couple extra rounds. It's kind of like to prove yourself in a way. I kind of like it like that. Let me just power through these zombies here. Let's see. Oh, never mind. There's kind of a lot of them here. All right, so let's buy this real quick. Let's see. Bam. So yeah, there we go. Survive until round 41. So we got to wait 10 rounds above where we're at. Oh, a max ammo. That's awesome. You don't really see these that often. So now it's really time for the grind. AK. No, 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 no. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed that Xbox 360 video that I made. I can't lie. That's like the most fun I've had in quite a long time recording a video because... It actually, you know, it actually took me digging out my Xbox, dusting it off, getting everything ready. And I went down memory lane whenever I turned my Xbox on because, like I said in that video, it had been, it's, it's been like a good 10 years since I'd last even seen my Xbox 360. It was nice to pull it out of the good old storage, have it open, and I took a look at everything, like the files and the games that I had installed and everything, and bro, I cannot believe the amount of things I did with the Xbox 360. And the amount of Minecraft worlds that I had. I, I I don't know why I made so many damn Minecraft worlds. I have to have at least like 500 worlds. And it's funny because whenever I was looking at the worlds and the names, you can just tell that I made the worlds, played for like 5 minutes, not even, maybe just like 10 seconds, and then uh, quit the game and just uh, made another world. That's how I used to do it because sometimes I would start with a challenge. It's funny too because I look back at those days and, and like, you know, I would always do weird things with challenges and games and stuff. So like Minecraft, I would challenge myself to only stay in like one biome. Or I would challenge myself to really only use like specific materials or something like that. And then I kind of look at the stuff I'm doing today and I'm like, man, uh, that's actually kind of similar to the stuff I do with zombies. I just kind of do weird challenges, whether I use a weapon or something or even just playing a map in a weird way. I'm just kind of rambling on at this point, but um, that whole 360 video was awesome. When I was looking for my 360, I didn't even find the original cables. I kind of jerry-rigged the power cable thing, uh, the one you connect to the brick. I used a PC cable instead, and it somehow worked. <laughs> it probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, I, like, I would have been really sad if it would have bricked my Xbox or something. But I don't know, it worked. And I, I was able to record that whole video with that weird power cable. I'm just glad that it didn't brick my 360. <laughs> Damn, Noct looks beautiful though look at this look at the scenery okay so we just need five more rounds to go i don't know what it is about the ray gun but look at this one shot <laughs> kills the entire horde they just evaporate let me show the car 98 we recently did the car 98 challenge on world at war i want to see if this is significantly better because it is modded so i would imagine it's probably better it looks pretty nice, actually. I kind of like this model. Is this from... Is this from World War II? Or what model is this? It looks pretty nice. It's definitely not killing anything, <laughs> though. <laughs> Let's try this. Double barrel. Damn, nice. This thing is still one shot. I'm telling you, the shotguns are insanely overpowered. Oh, Pack-a-Punch is there. Should we try the double barrel? No, let me let me pack a punch the car. Yep, the Armageddon. Wait. Oh my god, no way. This thing is fully automatic. This thing is fully automatic? Ain't no way. Here, let me double pack a punch it. Bro, this thing is so good. Bro, no way. I can't believe how good it is. I'm telling you, I'm literally fresh off of the Carnandia challenge. 
Let's go, dude. Now, we are using Double Tap 2.0. I'm going to just leave it at that because I don't want the pack punch machine to move or anything. Um, but yeah, we are using Double Tap 2.0. So that is definitely going to make it a little bit better. But a fully automatic car in 98 sounds amazing. Let's see how good it is against zombies. Yeah, yeah, I'll say it's good. It's good. It's definitely weird, though, because whenever you stop shooting, like here, for example, right here, if you stop shooting, you see how he still kind of pulls it back? There's kind of a delay. So if you stop and you try to shoot again, there's a slight delay on it. It makes sense because of that little animation. It's kind of better to just hold it down the entire time, if I'm being honest. And the best thing is that the wall by is right next to me. So I don't have to worry about ammo at all. See, I'm not lying when I say they revamp all the weapons in the entire game. It's awesome. This is why this mod's goaded. This is literally why. No mod can make the Car 98 this good. This is the only mod ever made that can do this. what I get? Oh, um, War Machine. The biggest thing that I miss about Black Ops 1, besides... I guess the engine and the graphics that it's on, because these graphics are unbeatable in my opinion, is when you buy ammo off the wall and it just automatically refills the gun. I don't know why they got rid of that, dude. Why? That's such a great addition. Uh oh. Uh oh. Instead of it giving you ammo and then you having to reload the weapon, the weapon's already loaded. It's so useful every time. That's one of the things I just don't understand why they changed. It's sucks. It really sucks having to buy ammo and then reload it <laughs> to then use it. It's crazy. This thing stops one shotting on round four on World at War. Round four is insanely embarrassing for a weapon. It really is worth trying every single wall weapon with this mod. It really is. Ah, dog's breathing fire. I'm very glad that I didn't go down. That was like my biggest fear with this map. Because of how weird the perks are. Having them rotate is a really fun idea. But it also makes things super complicated <laughs> if you ever go down. <laughs> Which, I mean, imagine going down in zombies, am I right? <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really like that it does switch perks. Just so you can get as many perks as you can. Oh, what's... Oh, you don't even go through the dog round? Oh, that sucks. I forgot. It ends once you get right to the round. But there we go. 2,258 kills, 530 headshots. I got to stop the timer. I always forget that. I really enjoyed playing all these maps for the first time with you guys. It was really quite an adventure. And I appreciate all you guys that decided to join me as well. Big shout out to everybody that subscribed recently. So yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what I should do next, man. Let me know. Make sure to download this mod. It is insanely good. If you play Black Ops 1, download it, bro. It's so good. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out, boys. Peace, 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 peace. I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace. I do also want to give a huge shout out to all the YouTube members, the Twitch subscribers, and the Discord boosters. I appreciate your guys' support. You guys are absolutely amazing. So, shout out to Taters, Chicky Cheeses, The Scrub Lords, Red, Ash, Nut King Called, FN40, Muscle, Creek, Dutch Terminator 7, Sappy Xfil, Plazetti, One Evan Flames 1, The Big J6, The Zombie Guru, Joff underscore Easybots, It's Noxty 711, Dr. Zomboss, Arno, and Jake Snossbuster. Appreciate you guys so much for the support. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel even further, make sure to check the links down below in the description. I appreciate it so much.